In this video, I'm gonna walk you through my last 10 web design clients and show you exactly how I found them. Then at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you what I would do if somebody held a gun to my head and said, Peyton, you have three months to find three good clients. So let's get into it. All right, so we're not wasting any time. First up is Zunex Pest Control. Now, Zunex Pest Control is a very simple website, as you can see here. Um, we've got a home page, a contact page, and then we have an about page, and that's about it, right? So, a simple three page website. Um, as you scroll through, you're gonna see really basic content blocks. Um, now, this website client, I found through a referral from another client of mine that I found through a Facebook group. And so essentially what happened is um, one of my very first pest control clients, which came about two years ago, found me um, on a Facebook group that I was participating in. I can't remember the exact name, but it was like pest control marketing group, right? And so that was something that I had provided value in, shared posts, shared insights, and I got a client from that group. And then they in turn have not only referred me to Zunex, but also one or maybe even two other pest control sites. And so referral and also Facebook group are how I came across the Zunex pest control company as a client. Next up, we've got Jameson Asset Management. Again, another really standard site. Um, this is an investment firm. They provide investment advice. Um, this is something that we put together Pretty quickly, I think this was about a two month project. You can see we've got a couple different pages, our About Us page, we've got an education page, which as we scroll through here, it's just got a single blog post at this point, FAQ page, and um, that's about it, right? So really standard um, content sections, nothing too fancy. Um, this site and this client we found through my YouTube channel. Now, even though my YouTube channel is primarily about um, you know web designers and freelancing. I've got quite a few people that find me here, listen to my voice, see my face, and they feel comfortable enough to reach out to have me do their website. So this second client came from YouTube. Up next, we've got DNS Filter. Now this was a huge project, something that we worked on for a really long time. This was a client that came from the Webflow Experts page. Now if you don't know what the Webflow Experts page is, it is um, basically a resource where you can join to be a certified Webflow expert. I think there is a minimum of a certain amount of websites you have to have built within Webflow and kind of proven that you are a reliable Webflow expert. Um, but this client came through there and they came with a pretty reasonable budget. They already had all of their designs ready. So we basically just developed their designs within Webflow. And this was something that we were able to put together, I think in about two and a half months. Um, they were a great client. We're still working with them. I've really enjoyed working with them. So Webflow Experts page has been a great resource. Up next, we've got Easy Access. Now, this was the biggest website that we have ever built. It was super complex. You're going to see um, even from the, the mega nav up here that we've got a ton of different industries, categories, subcategories for these different ramps and lifts, which are like home accessibility and business accessibility solutions um, and so all of these go to a product page um, that kind of redirect traffic this was also a heavy site because we built a lot of custom tools as you can tell here um, different calculators and things like that so this was a huge project this was um, a client that came from a referral which the person that referred them was a member of my private facebook group and so in kind of a roundabout way i was able to provide value to them and show them that I was good at what we do and in turn they referred me to this client which to date has probably been my favorite client. I'm sorry if you're one of my other clients. I love you all but um, these guys have been really awesome about coming to us with a really healthy budget but also just a ton of resources and a ton of help to help us put together uh, a pretty impressive website and so um, easy access came through a referral of a Facebook group member. Up next, we've got Logan Farm. Now, Logan Farm is um, a fairly standard site. They basically build and sell farm equipment. And so we've actually done several of these types of sites um, for a couple different businesses that are owned by the same organization. Logan Farm um, Equipment is one of those. 
And this site actually came through a referral of a person that I had reached out to early on on Facebook. In fact, when I first started my business, I made a post telling people what it was that I do and um, somebody from my church growing up saw the post and kind of took a mental note and about a year later they reached out and said, hey, we are ready for you to build a site for us. And so Facebook was a really great resource early on and I'm still seeing the fruits of that um, even today with Logan Farm and a couple of the other businesses that are owned by these guys. And so they've been a great client and Facebook is an awesome place to find great clients. So next up, we've got Spectre Pest Management. Again, another pest control website. We do a lot of these and we're starting to get a lot of pest control company referrals. Um, for those of you that haven't watched my other videos, you know that I did pest control sales for quite a while and so I've built up some pretty good resources and, and, uh, and relationships there. However, this pest control website, um, this company found me on a Google search and I believe they came across one of my old case studies about another pest control website. And so it was great to have somebody find me through um, Google and they've been an awesome client. We're working on an SEO campaign for them and slowly helping them build up their pest control business. So the next site that we've got is Epic Teams. This is another pretty big site that we built out, um, a really custom design. We worked really closely with the owner of this. Um, her name is Shannon and she is absolutely amazing at what she does. Um, but this site was really hands-on and we really relied on her to, to kind of help us see her vision. Um, all of the graphics were created beforehand and so we kind of followed that design style. But Shannon found us again through the Webflow Experts page and she actually reached out to a couple different designers and after our chat with her on the phone, she chose to go with us and we have loved working with her. And so this was a, a really awesome site, a really unique site, something a little bit more, you know, a little bit more playful, a little different than things that we've done in the past, but, uh, but we've loved working with it. In fact, the next site as well, which is Mobility123, another like home accessibility company, they also found us through the Webflow Experts page. And so we scheduled a call through our website, um, which we use Calendly to do that. And the owner reached out to us and we pitched them and we're able to land them as a client. This is very similar to Easy Access where we've got a pretty big site with a lot of different products. This was a big migration project. And so it was a bigger budget project and we're also running an SEO campaign for them right now. But again, the Webflow Experts page has been an awesome way to find great clients that also come to you with reasonable budgets. Number nine is Worth Insurance. Now, this is a private insurance company. Um, again, a really fun, kind of bold, trendy design that we put together. Um, I loved working with Darren and the rest of the team at Worth Insurance. Um, this was another client that found us through our Webflow Experts page, and it has been a joy to work with them. Um, again, these Webflow Experts requests come to us in the form of an email and it basically just says hey you've gotten a request um, and I believe the way that it works is those are sent out to all of the Webflow experts and then you follow up and um, basically try to get them on the phone and give them a proposal and pitch them at a, at a price and a project and then hopefully close those and so we've had a lot of success doing this and just getting people on the phone normally what I do for these is when they reach out to me or when I get that form submission, I'll just send them an email that says, hey, I would love to chat. I think this could be a good fit for us. And um, I'll send them a link to my Calendly where they can schedule a strategy call. Now, the one thing I will say about this Webflow Experts page is I don't reach out to every single one. I'm pretty picky about the people that I reach out to. I'll kind of research their business. I'll see what their budget is. And usually I'll, I'll kind of be a little bit more picky on who I reach out to. So I can genuinely say, I think we would be a great fit to work together. Um, I found a lot of success in this and I love the Webflow Experts page. And the final site that I want to cover is Sub4 Capital. This is a another investment company, an investment firm. And they had a really unique design. Their website, rather than just talking about investments, the whole idea behind their site is um, sub four, which is like a sub four minute um, mile. And they talk about what it takes to kind of reach that next level. 
um, very similarly to um, this individual, which I can't remember his name, um, just like he did to kind of push himself to reach that next level and break that four minute mile. So um, this client we also found through YouTube. This was somebody that watched one of my Webflow training videos and he said, hey, we love Webflow. We've already got this template. You guys probably recognize this template. Um, they loved it and just wanted us to build out their site around that template. And, uh, and so they've been a great client. We've worked with them and are going to continue to work with them um, to improve the site and probably do some other sites for them. But YouTube has been a great resource for us and we're going to continue to put out content here because not only does it provide hopefully value to, to all of you, but also it's a great way to reach new clients. And so, yep, number 10 here came from YouTube. So now that we've covered all of these, I want to paint the scenario, like I said at the start of the video, where if somebody came to me and held a gun to my head and it was do or die, life or death, and they said, Peyton, you have three months, only three months to land three good clients. And here is exactly what I would do in this order. And my hope is that you will take these things and you will implement them and you can find a couple good first clients or Maybe you've already landed a couple clients and you just need more. So the first thing that I would do is I would create a post on Facebook. And this is what I did when I first started my business. This is the best way to find your first clients, but it's also something that you should do consistently throughout your business. Maybe it's once every six months, once every year, where you do a really genuine emotional post and you tell people what it is that you do and why you're passionate about it and you share with them what it means to you. And by doing this, I found that it makes it really easy for family, friends, loved ones on your Facebook to reshare that. And the hope is that you can connect with somebody that knows you through one of your close relationships. This is the best way to get started because these clients are gonna be low stress. They're already coming to you and giving you the benefit of the doubt. They already either know you or someone you know, and so the trust is already there. And so get on Facebook, post something, maybe share a link to your website, but by doing this in a way that encourages other people to share it, hopefully you're going to be able to find at least one good client off of this. It may be a lower budget client, but it's a great place to start. The next thing I would do is start a niche YouTube channel. I'm a huge believer in YouTube. And the reason for that is, is it is by far the easiest way to get good organic traffic and, and get eyes on you or your business. I also love YouTube because just like any video content, it's really useful for people to be able to see your face, look into your eyes, hear your voice, get to know your personality, and it's going to be an awesome way for you to land clients. Now, you might be thinking, well, Peyton, I don't think in three months I can build up a huge YouTube channel, and the fact of the matter is you don't have to. You could literally land a ton of great clients off of a YouTube channel that only has 50 subscribers, right? You don't need to have a massive following, but what you do need to do is really focus in this YouTube channel into a niche so people know exactly what you are offering or what you're teaching, and they're gonna know if it's for them. So a good example of this is maybe start a YouTube channel called Landscaper Website Tips. This way people know exactly who this is for, right? This is for landscapers that want to either improve their website or maybe are trying to build a website on their own. And within this YouTube channel, you could create videos helping landscapers specifically improve their website and online presence. And by doing this, you're gonna be able to target a couple keywords related to landscaping and hopefully build up a presence where a couple people are watching your videos. And again, the following and the likes and the views do not matter. Even if your videos are only getting three views, that's enough to land a client, right? And so put out good content, get comfortable in front of the camera, and this niche YouTube channel is going to do a lot for you. Now, the next thing that I would do is also one of my favorites. Um, it's basically the, the friendly version of cold calling, right? And if you're anything like me, um, maybe you're a little bit introverted and you don't wanna call up random businesses and try to battle them on the phone to turn them into clients. So instead, what you're gonna do is you're going to make a list of all of the businesses that you visit within a, you know, a year's time, right? So we're talking the dentist, the gym, the bakery, your church, um, the car dealership, whoever it is, make a list of these businesses that you already do business with. Now, this might seem a little bit sneaky, but what you're gonna do is over the next two to three weeks, 
you're going to make it a point to go into these businesses. And obviously, some of these are going to cost you more money than others. And so be careful about which ones you decide to go into. But what you're going to do is you're going to go in and make it a point to mention what you do. Now, the thing that I love about this is these individuals are not going to be mean to you. They're not going to shut you down mainly because they're serving you, right? Like you're currently, you're their customer or their client. And so they're going to be really respectful about you talking about what you do. And a good example of this is um, I used to go to a gym that uh, that I kind of got to know the owner just by saying hello as I walked in. And so I made a point of doing this. And one day I walked in, I just said, hey, I checked out your website. How long have you guys had that website? And it was like, an instant conversation starter. We talked about his website for 25 minutes and he shared with me a bunch of pain points they had and it was a really easy entry um, into talking about what I do. And so make an effort to talk to the businesses and the business owners that you already interact with and this is going to be basically the easier version of cold calling and you're gonna find a lot of great connections and even if you don't close these people right now, they're going to remember you and as you continue to visit their business, maybe one day down the road, they will hire you. And the final thing that I would do, and when I say that, that doesn't mean that this is all you have to do, but the final thing that I would really encourage you to do is start utilizing the story feature on Facebook and Instagram. And what you're going to do is you're going to start posting a story every single day on Facebook and Instagram about what you're working on that day. Now these don't have to be super high quality videos. They don't have to be scripted. All you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your phone and you're gonna say, what's going on everybody? I wanna share this really cool website that I've been building. And if you're not building a website, maybe you could do like a website recreation or tinker around with a free template on Webflow, whatever it is. You're just gonna say, hey guys, this is what I'm working on. Check this out. Um, I really love this tool that I'm using or I'm really excited about this website that I'm building. Whatever it is that you're working on that day, just by sharing those daily um, messages and those daily thoughts or, or just updates, people are going to start to think about you more often. You're going to be top of mind. And when the time comes that one of them needs a website, whether that's now or next week or next month, they're going to be thinking about you because you're so consistent um, on popping up on their stories, on their social media. And so with just those four things, I guarantee that if you can be consistent with them and make a true effort, you're going to start finding clients. And all of these things can be scaled. You can post more. You can grow your YouTube channel. You can reach out to more businesses. But this is going to be the best place for you to start to start landing awesome clients like I've walked you through in this video. And so if you found any value in this video, if you liked any of the tips, if you appreciate me kind of opening up the, the curtains here and uh, sharing with you some of my clients, please be sure to smash the like button down below because it really helps this video. And also consider subscribing because I've got new videos like this coming out all the time where I'm helping you as a freelancer, as a web designer to land more clients, make more money, bring more value to your clients. And so please consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch y'all in the next video.